this. I know I told y'all that I wasn't feeling the Fendachi, but y'all, I'm kind of feeling this. I can't even tell a lie. Now, I'm not feeling the bags, but this top, I think I'm feeling a top, I have to say. <gasps> OMG. It's so cute, y'all. Let me show you the other options. So this is another Fendachi. It's really pretty. That is so pretty, y'all. This is just a regular Versace shirt. This is pretty too. And then we have this black and white one, this pink. I mean, these are okay. And then there's this Fendachi. Y'all, I can't even lie. I'm feeling the Fendachi shirts. <laughs> I'm feeling them. I've been converted. I need a Fendachi. Yes, I'm, I'm converted. So I'm going to show y'all which one I end up getting. Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. So it's Sunday, getting ready to go to brunch with Bay and my family. And I'm just getting dressed, well, ready really quickly. But I wanted to come on here. Wait, give me a second. <laughs> it's really hard to talk when you're trying to put foundation on your face. So I wanted to come on here and this is the foundation that I'm using today. Dior Forever Skin Glow. Love it. So one of my subbies asked me in my premiere, if you guys can, like if 9 a.m. is like a good time for you guys and you're able to like talk and be free. Um, we have, I premiere my videos every Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So we have our little fragrance community going on. It's really fun. We talk perfume. Sometimes we just talk life. And this particular day, um, I don't know how we ended up talking about confidence, but one of my subbies asked me to basically just speak on confidence and being self-confident. So I just want to touch on a little bit of that today. And if you guys want me to go in more depth, like in a sit down video or something like that, just let me know. But really quickly, for me, confidence is pretty much just believing in yourself. Believing that, and I hate to say this term because I mean, I've ran this into the ground, that girl. But believing that you are that girl, that woman, that guy, that whatever. You know what I mean? And really owning it and not caring. When I say not caring, not giving two iotas of what anybody has to say about you, think about you, anything. People will put their insecurities and their lack of self-confidence on you and make you feel like you're the you know not confident one or whatever like you'll never be able to please everybody you know what i mean and honestly i'm not trying to please anybody like if you happen to be pleased great <laughs> but if not then i mean i'm sorry like it is what it is i'm not living for people i'm living for myself so for me that's where my self-confidence come from just doing me, knowing that I am that chick, that girl, that whomever. And if anybody else doesn't believe that you're that girl or doesn't believe that you're great or, you know, whoever or however you proclaim to be, it doesn't matter because as long as you believe it, that's all that matters. I mean, clearly I have no issues with confidence because like my name is AI the great. Like I think I'm great. Like, no, I know I'm great. I'm great at everything that I do. People make it that if you are confident and you think highly of yourself, that you're conceited or you're, you know, you think you all that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you taking it back to 
high school and junior high school oh she thinks she all that so what what's wrong with somebody thinking that they're all that like that's not a problem as long as i think that i'm all that it doesn't matter like it it doesn't matter it's not a bad thing i'm not thinking that i'm the best thing smoking in the world you know what i mean like that's not how i think another thing try to have people around you that build up your self-confidence if you can because there's nothing worse than being around um friends or being in a relationship or family members that constantly try to put you down because of their own insecurities you know what i mean just try to surround yourself with people that see the greatness in you and I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just really, bottom line is not caring what anybody else thinks about you. Do you? If you want to wear shorts and have your cellulite showing, it is what it is. If you want to have your stomach out and it's not a washboard, it is what it is. Whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you you, whatever makes you feel beautiful, it is what it is. You can cut your hair today and 10 people will say, Oh, that haircut looks beautiful on you. I love it. And then you're going to have some people to be like, oh, that ain't it, sis. That ain't it, ma. Uh -uh. You got to go back to the drawing board. Like, you're not going to be able to please everybody. As long as you're happy within yourself and you believe in yourself, then that's all that matters. And that's really all I have to say. Like I said, if you want me to elaborate and go in more detail and more depth about it, then I absolutely will. But right now, your girl needs to hurry up and get ready. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and I'll check back in with you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so my face is done as you can see um so i wanted to share with you my fragrance of the day so you know how usually i start with an oil and then do a cream i do that most of the time the majority of the time but on days that i don't feel like doing the oil and the cream and my skin is already like moisturized it's not like my skin is dry um and plus i'm not really showing that much skin i really use the oil when i'm showing skin because i just love to glisten but you're not going to see that much skin in what i'm wearing today so i decided to use my fenty cream and so in my fenty cream i'm gonna layer the nest jasmine indian jasmine perfume oil you guys know i love this it's so pretty like it's just such a sweet beautiful jasmine scent it doesn't smell too florally it almost smells like there's some type of fruit note in here and i don't believe there is but it's so beautiful and if you have the turkish rose you know how that rose is kind of like a sweet rose it's this is a sweet jasmine it's so pretty so my fragrances that i'm going to layer today because you guys know i'm obsessed with layering now is tiziana terenzi rosso Pompeii, Rosso Pompeii. I don't know how to pronounce it, y'all, but this is what it is. <laughs> and then we have Valentino Donna, born in Roma. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. The jasmine notes. It's the jasmine in here for me. I think that's what it is because this is a floral scent, this Rosso Pompeii. The perfumers are Tiziana and Paolo. So Tiziana actually put her um stamp on this as well and when i tell y'all it is so beautiful like this is such a beautiful floral scent i absolutely absolutely 1000 percent love this fragrance and donna born in roma you guys know this is a jasmine like jasmine heavy i want to say there's jasmine in the mid the top and the base there's also um black currant and vanilla and like a bourbon vanilla this is everything as well so what i'm gonna do because my hands are probably real ashy right now i'm going to start getting dressed and i'm gonna show you guys how i apply my oil so you see i have my fenty cream in hand i take a nice good helping of the oil and just drop it down in there 
rub my hands together. And I'm already moisturized. I put cream on when I got out the shower and then I did my face, but I'm just re-moisturizing so that it can be nice and fresh and soft and glisteny. Although I'm not really gonna be glistening. Y'all, this smells so damn good. Like these nest oils, I'm telling you, I have all of them. I told y'all that, right? All of them, they smell so good. And just layered in your lotion. So I'm gonna do the rest of my body because you know, y'all don't need to see all that. And I'll be back. All right, guys, so let me show you what I'm wearing. Don't mind this hanger. I just took this off. Um, I took my robe off of this. So I'm wearing this Banana Republic two-piece set. Don't mind these hangers either. These are hangers from the laundry room. I use these for the steamer because they can swivel. Um, so I just kept it on there. So here's my skirt. I think I did a haul and showed you guys um, that I picked up this outfit from Banana Republic. Love it so, so much. It's so beautiful. It's linen. It's actually, um, I believe it's like lined underneath. So it's kind of poofy. It's giving extra. It's definitely giving a little extra. And then this top is a cropped top. Love that too. So I'm about to get dressed and I'll show you guys what the finished look is giving. All right, guys. So I'm pretty much ready. I'm just doing my last bit of fragrance. So this is the Donna Born in Roma. And then we have Tiziana Terenzi, Rosso Pompeo or Pompeii, whatever it is, it smells so good. And these are my slippers. I'm wearing these Louis Vuitton sandals. They're kind of neutral. They kind of like go with everything. And this Louis Vuitton purse. I forgot what was the name of this. Is it Voyage? I'm not sure, but I'll link it if you're interested. All right, guys, so this is my outfit. Banana Republic is giving me, I just gotta fix the back. Once I fix the back, it'll be fine. I wish it had pockets. It doesn't have any pockets. I feel like, like I keep doing this. Like I feel like it needs pockets. I just need to flatten out the back so my back doesn't look so big. <laughs> And this is my purse. And that's the look. So I'll see you guys. I'm a ticket 10 rounds like a boxer, baby. Show you how I put down what rocks a lady. Promise you're asking when I'm done for more. I'm going to switch it up and make life comfortable. I'm going to be the reason you're not sleeping, baby. I'm going to invade the thoughts you keep it, maybe. If you're still not convinced, I'll tell you more. Make you forget the way you felt before. Oh, oh. I could be your wake up reason daily. You could be my first and leading lady. I'm going to make you happy that you waited for me to settle down. Oh, oh. I'm ready and I'm not afraid to say it. I'm tired of the game already played. Hey guys, so it's the end of the night and I just finished taking my shower and I'm just doing the finishing touches on my skincare and I am going to go to bed. I'm so tired, but I just wanted to come on quickly to tell you guys that my, my fragrance combination, it was so good. I got four compliments today on my fragrance. And it was loud. It was projecting. Let me tell y'all something. If you love Valentino, Donna, Born, and Roma, I feel like you'll absolutely be obsessed with Rosso Bombay by Tiziana Terenzi. Because honestly, they give me the same vibe. This smells like a more elevated, more rich, more floral version, more less sweet version of Donna, Born, and Roma. But I love my Roma. But this just smells more, more exclusive to me. You know what I mean? I love it. But I do love them together. So I feel like if you love Donna Born and Roma, that's a safe blind buy, in my opinion. Because it smells so good. Let me tell you, the three Tiziana Terenzi fragrances that I've been loving lately, 
that I've been wearing like so much is Kabiria, um, Haley, and also Rosso Bombay. I gotta figure out how to pronounce that because I know I'm not saying it right. But yeah, those have been my three favorite Tiziana Terenzi fragrances right now. Y'all know I love Tibet. Like, I feel like that goes without saying, but there's so many in the house that just smell so beautiful um, that I'm just, I'm just loving. So yeah, that's about it. Oh, and I did get two new fragrances. Let me just put this on real quick. My Kiehl's Night Cream. Well, Night Oil. I've been using my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and I have to say, it's super thick, and I do love that about it. Um, but it's not; it doesn't give me a glow. Maybe I'm not using enough, but I do love the Tatcha um, Dewy. Where is it? I think it's in the bathroom. My Tatcha Dewy um, Cream is that what it's called? I think it's called the Dewy Cream, the one in the little purple bottle. That gives me a glow, and it's also moisturizing. This is super moisturizing as well, but it just doesn't give me a luminous glow. I'm gonna keep playing with it, but I do love it. It's super thick, and it feels like it's being really like moisturizing to the skin. So I use that tonight as my moisturizer, and of course I use my Tatcha Night um not Night Cream. <laughs> my Tatcha um, under eye cream and I also use my Tatcha kiss you lip um, mask treatment whatever but the fragrances that I want to show you that I just received and I'm going to do a video on them but I just want to show you guys here in the vlog I got two new fragrances by the house of Siage. so I got this one which is sweet dreams look at this bottle y'all I mean, honestly, like these bottles are so beautiful. And I also got cream chiffon. The bottles are freaking gorgeous. Love them. So I'm going to do a video on them because I do have an opinion. They were sent to me by the brand. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about that in another video, y'all. Because I got the tea on these fragrances right here. Um, what else I wanted to tell y'all? So my scents of the night, I um, used my... Ole Henriksen's oil and I used my uh what is it I'm literally drawing a blank I used my soap and glory almond and pistachio um body butter I think it's almond pistachio and vanilla it smells so good and then I used my soul Sheriosa 62 body spray and then I went in with my poison girl the EDT and I'm smelling so delicious and so, so gourmand, yummy for bed. And I love that. I love smelling sweet and gourmand for bed, especially like this time of year when I'm trying to transition from summer fragrances into fall. And it is a little bit hard because y'all know I love my summer, but it is what it is. Like when fall comes and I get excited for it, like I'm so super excited. I want to go to pumpkin patches and pick apples and go wine tasting, this, that, and the third. But right now I'm just loving summer. But you know, it is what it is. Um, So yeah, I'm about to go to bed y'all because I'm super tired and I feel like I'm just like rambling right now and just being tired and just talking to y'all and keeping y'all up right now. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see y'all later. Hey guys, we're about to pull up to the grocery store. I need to get some salmon, some wild salmon for dinner tonight. I'm making salmon fillets. Can y'all see me? This angle is probably all types of crazy. But uh, it is what it is. Um, so I'm making some wild, I'm getting wild salmon because I'm making salmon fillets tonight. I'm making salmon nuggets, like salmon bites actually. But I need the wild salmon fillets. It's super hot outside. It's like a whole heat wave out here. So I'm just enjoying this little bit of AC, honey, before I get out this car. And I'm trying to park as close as possible. Do y'all do that? I'm literally trying to park like, if I could park inside the supermarket, I'll be inside. So I'm just driving around one more time. 
to get that perfect spot i'm gonna take you guys in there with me and i'm also gonna take you guys back home and we're gonna do like a whole cook with me vlog it's gonna be cute and fun nothing um like professional or anything like that because my setup is not what is it conducive to doing like a whole cook with me because i don't have like cameras in the kitchen and my lighting set up and all that it's gonna be kind of weird but we're gonna do it gorilla style and you guys will get the hints you'll get the gist of everything what i'm making is fairly simple but it's going to be delicious so i finished parking and now we are going to head inside the grocery store to get this food so let go let me tell you about this girl, maybe I shouldn't I met her in Philly and her name was Brown Sugar See we been making love constantly, that's why my eyes are a shade Black burgundy, the way that we kiss is unlike any other way That I be kissing when I'm kissing what I'm missing, won't you listen? Brown Sugar, babe, I guess high off your love, I don't know how to feel Do you have any wild salmon fillets? Right here, I got some king and some coho. All right, y'all, so we got some coho salmon. I have two of them. I'm gonna need some more. Looking for the nice thick pieces like that, like fillet size. So the skin is on the back, so I'm going to have him take the skin off. Y'all, all I got to say is thank God we're not Presbyterian. $100 for five pieces of salmon. Like, <laughs> salmon fillets. Yeah, but it will last us for two days, and it is wild. If I purchased the farm, it would have been cheaper. But I just don't want to eat farm-raised when I'm picking it myself, because I know when we go out, we're not eating wild salmon. We're eating farm raised. We're not eating organic uh, meat. We're eating regular GMO. Like, when we go out to eat, it's literally like eat, drink, and be wary because you don't know what y'all eat. And I hope y'all can hear me because the AC is up in here blasting because it's hot outside. Like, it's super hot. But I'm about to pull off. We're going to head home. And I'll see y'all in the kitchen. Right, guys, so we just made it back. I'm about to start cooking because I'm starving and Bae's on his way home. And I do like dinner to be ready, you know, by the time he gets home. So I'm going to show you what we're about to right, do. guys, so we have our salmon here, which I'm about to clean. I'm about to soak it in some vinegar and some lemons. We have the olive oil to rub her down or rub him down <laughs> with um, the seasonings. We have the um, honey, unsalted butter for the honey butter and garlic sauce we have our sweet corn that i'm going to shave i wanted to get a red bell pepper but they didn't have any red ones that didn't look bruised so we just have a green one so let me start to get everything together and i'll check back in with you guys in a little while so here's our salmon i'm thinking i'm not going to use all these pieces i feel like because i'm trying to have dinner for today and tomorrow and then i want to have some for um Sunday, well not Sunday, I think Saturday, because I want to do some salmon croquettes. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping this is going to be enough, four pieces, and then I'm going to cut them in nugget sizes. So mm, probably not going to be enough. I'm going to have to go back and get salmon to make croquettes. So whatever, I'm just gonna make all these. I'm gonna soak them in some um, vinegar and some lemons and then I'll be back. All right, y'all, so here we have our salmon. It's rubbed down in some olive oil. I put some salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, 
Um, I put like a Mrs. Dash uh, herb and garlic seasoning. It doesn't have any salt. Um, did I say salt? I, I think I did say salt and pepper. So she got the works, okay? All the seasonings that you could think of is on the salmon bites. And I'm just waiting for the oil to get hot. I'm going to fry them up and then I'm going to do the sauce and then I'll be back. So while I'm waiting for the oil to get hot, I'm just going to soak our rice. I just like to soak it before I rinse it off just to get as much starch off as possible. And I just like clean rice. So I'm trying to do this with one hand. Y'all should see me. Y'all, this is crazy. Listen, I'm about to do this rice and then I'm gonna get back at y'all. All right, guys, so we're almost finished frying up our little salmon bites. How cute are they? They are so cute. They're not fully cooked, um, but you really can't tell. But I just wanted them a nice, pretty color so that once I rinse out the pot, once this is done, I'm going to rinse out the pot, um, add some olive oil, some butter, some garlic. I'm going to mince up some garlic. I'm sorry, I'm chewing because I'm eating some um, pistachios. Mince up some garlic, saute it for a little while, put some... Um, unsalted butter in the pot with some honey some soy sauce and then put the fish back in so it can cook you know maybe like a, another 10 minutes or so and then i'll show you what i'm going to do with the corn all right guys so i cleaned the pot and we have our sauteed garlic going i love the scent of sauteing garlic it smells so good but i wanted to show you guys the soy sauce that i use not particularly the brand but I just wanted to show you that it's less sodium soy sauce because soy sauce has so much sodium. So when you're cooking meals like this, just be careful to use like unsalted butter. This is unsalted butter. And we have our low sodium soy sauce because the fish, which is right here looking so gorgeous, is, you know, seasoned really generously. So I don't want to have too much salt in the dish i like to control the amount of salt that i have you know in my dishes so i try to use unsalted butter and low sodium um chicken stock or soy sauce or whatever it is just to control the amount of salt that's in my food and my garlic is getting brown so let me go all right guys so here's our salmon i'm just basting it a little bit just to make sure every piece of salmon has some nice glaze on it look at that Nice honey, garlic, butter glaze with some soy sauce just to add some more flavor. It's all about the flavor for me, y'all. So this should last us for two days. I hope so because it's looking mighty small and I do not feel like cooking tomorrow. So we'll see. So I'm going to get started on the corn. All right, y'all. So we have our corn all shaved and purdy and ready to go. We have some minced garlic. I have some salt and pepper that I'm going to season it with, with a little bit of Creole seasoning. I love this. This goes with everything. It makes everything taste so good. And we have our secret ingredient. We have our truffle oil, our black truffle oil. And we're going to top it off with some white truffle Parmesan cheese. It's going to be so good. It's simple, but it's really, really good. So let me get this started. This is why you shouldn't cook when you're hungry. I don't forgot the green pepper. So there's gonna be no green or red in my yellow corn. Sometimes I just like seeing the colors of the green and the red peppers and it adds a little bit more flavor, but we're gonna get a lot of flavor with this Creole seasoning here. And this already has salt, so I didn't put any salt. I just put black pepper and the Creole seasoning. And once we top it off with the Parmesan cheese with the white truffle, and once everything is all done, I'm just going to dab a little bit of this black truffle oil in here. It's going to give it some beautiful, nice, rich flavor, honey. Y'all, how about the leaves are starting to change? Look at this. Do you guys see that? There's some yellow leaves on the trees right now. I'm devastated. <laughs> Look at that. I'm literally devastated. I'm seeing yellow and they're starting to fall. Look at that. Don't look at the grass, y'all. It's been a heat wave. <laughs> 
the grass is not grassing right now but just look at the leaves on the ground i'm i like i'm speechless <laughs> fall is literally coming i'm so sad but it's so beautiful out here the sky is blue and the trees are green so beautiful I'm just enjoying some wine while the food is finishing to cook and then I'll be back with you guys all right guys so I hope you can hear me because I took my microphone off my phone but dinner is served here it is we're both starving and I'm gonna close out the vlog now and we're gonna enjoy our dinner and have a nice night watching a movie so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace